क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ग्लूचल मसल यूज फॉर इंट्रा मस्कुलर इंजेक्शन इज ग्लूचस मैक्सिम ग्लूचस मीडियस ग्लूचस मेरेमस टेंसर फाशिलाटी so all the muscles options they have mentioned here they are all muscles in the gluteal region you have to pick a single choice now because i have to explain it so let me tell you this question is not properly framed because let me tell you ideally if this question would have been framed as such that gluteal muscle that should be used for intramuscular injection then of course your answer will be gluteus medius but if you remove should be now see what the question means the gluteal muscle used for intramuscular injection so you know gluteus maxim as a lot many clinicians lot many nurses they randomly you know they just put the injection in the superlateral cord into the gluteal region. everybody knows it very easily so i mean most of the nurses clinicians they also put intramuscular injection in gluteus maximus and that's not very much wrong even if you are safe and secure putting the syringe and in injection then even gluteus maximus is a muscle to which you can where you can provide this intramuscular injection so actually speaking uh, you know the answer to this if you remove what i have edited the gluteal muscle used for intramuscular injection is both both gluteus maximus and medius now look here i'll explain it i'll try to explain it for you if you are seeing here is asis anterior superior lex spine and this is a uh, you know let's say the gluteal region this is gluteus maximus this is the parallel plane of muscle of gluteus maximus you know it gets inserted into the iliotibial tract and also deep down to the gluteal tuberosity but here superiorly this gluteus maximus it actually if you expose the uh, you know skin then superficial fascia then the deep fascia that is called the gluteal fascia what you'll find the gluteus maximus covers all the muscles down below except gluteus medius now this gluteus medius is actually here this portion is by gluteus medius right and of course here you find is tensor fasci lata this is gluteus medius now partly medius is also below maximus as well and this is gluteus maximus what you're not seeing here is gluteus minimus which is actually completely covered by gluteus medius below to this not below below to this you will find is gluteus minimus and you know the neurovascular plane supplying to these three muscles you know these three muscles 1 2 and 3 medius minimus and tensor fasci lati they supplied by superior gluteal nerve while gluteus maximus is innervated by inferior gluteal nerve so now let me tell you how to go for intramuscular injections actually you know first of all you need to draw a uh, four quadrants if you palpate down below here you'll find is the greater trochanter and here we some way you know this is asi is here somewhere above you'll find is the iliac tubercle so you just palpate the iliac tubercle and draw straight right here passing below to the greater trochanter of femur that makes it like a four quadrant and it's easily said like you should give a syringe here in the superolateral quadrant of the gluteal region but the ideal way here is that your index finger should actually be pointing the asis and your middle finger should be pointing the iliac tubercle and your third ring finger you have a little finger and your thumb like this right so this should be the position of hand and here you will find is the knuckles the knuckles then are proximal ip and terminal ip joints so somewhere in between the two digits you know middle finger and the index finger here you can plan out between the proximal ip joints of the middle and index finger when you placing your hand this is your right hand on the left side of the gluteal region of the subject 
they it is the best site this is the best intramuscular injection site and this site actually if you ask the nurses they are taught them as ventrogluteal intramuscular injection and as you've already seen that which muscle is actually it is going into it is going into gluteus medius but very commonly you must have seen that clinicians do not follow all this procedure they simply pick up a syringe and then they just you know prick the needle in the suprolateral quadrant so there are very much chances that the needle might pierce this muscle here like without placing your hand and all just reaching to this re quadrant you might place a needle here here all these sides any of the, any of these sides in the suprolateral quadrant people just you know push the needle here so there are chances that many times the needle goes into this muscle gluteus maximus and now this site is called as dorso gluteal intramuscular injection dorso lateral or dorso gluteal intramuscular injection now this injection goes into gluteus maximus if they have asked that the gluteal muscle used for intramuscular injection is so both these muscles can be used for intramuscular injections rather in this maximus if you're talking about you can go deep down below because there's much of enough of fat also so entire needle of one and a half inch might you can pick it directly 90 degrees you can go deep inside if you're pricking here in the dorsal gluteal region ventrogluteal region also is preferred because let me know the, the nerves here you know here somewhere in this behind you find is a spine you know sacral spine then you have ischial spine and this is the greater sciatic notch so somewhere down below you'll find this sciatic nerve coming out and there will be nerves inferior gluteal nerve also reaching to this gluteus maximus uh, that's why it's avoided that your your intramuscular injection should not go into the posterior half of the gluteal region or inferior half of the gluteal region then this muscle you know from this greater sciatic notch there is this key muscle of the gluteal region called piriformis and the nerves and vessels emerging out of you know, greater sciatic notch above piriformis is superior gluteal nerve and vessels the superior gluteal nerve and vessels actually ascend up and they divide into two divisions one is the superior and the other one is the inferior division this superior gluteal nerve it runs in between gluteus medius and gluteus minimus that's a neurovascular plane in the gluteal region so here also you have to be precise that your syringe should not reach very much close to the iliac crest so both of them are the muscles used for intramuscular injection but ideally what should be you know the safest and the best to practice is to give my intramuscular injection in the procedure that i have shown you here and so i think uh, this those who have marked b should be given full marks but gluteus maximus if students have marked they should also be considered because the question framing was not very precise okay so it's done